Hi everyone, welcome back to Atlantic Fleets. Here we are. After the demise of HMS Nelson, we have that warm, satisfied glow that we have made significant impact. We also know the battlecruiser Renown is in the Mediterranean there. We also know the battlecruiser Hood is making her way past the Bay of Biscay. Um, so... Things are going grand. We did have a couple of... Was it S20? Oh, U28. Was she... No, she's okay. Uh, one of these U-boats needed to be... Um, resupplied, wasn't it? Was it U27? It was U27. Right, let's swap those over then. U27, you go there. U28, you go there. There we go. Uh, she should get resupplied. Now, we also had... We've got the knives now. And we've got two U-boats here. Um, we're going to move those down into the western approaches. See if we can take on whatever ships are there. And we're going to move them, move the Nice now down, maybe into the Mediterranean to see if we can get onto those battle cruisers, which will be something. Um, here we have U-31. She has seven torpedoes. Okay. What are these two? How are these two guys doing? One torpedo for U-32. That's the one I was looking for. Right, okay. So U-32, you can head back to Kiel to get resupplied, and we'll leave the other ones where they are. Admiral Hipper. No, it's not. It's Admiral Graf Spey. Why do I keep calling it the Hipper? Did that last time. She's okay there. We're February 1940. Let's move on. Ooh. <laughs> oh! Ho-ho! Look at that! We move the knives now. And at the next moment, light cruiser Ajax, light cruiser Phoebe, the destroyers Basilisk, Cossack, Dainty, and Offer all move into that area. Were they a hunter-killer squad trying to take down the Nisenau? Uh nisenau has got a light cruiser escort now, so they'd be they'd be going well. But I suppose they could launch a mash of torpedo mash a ma mass of torpedoes. To try and sink the uh, battleship, but anyway, it's not to be. We've evaded them, but U44 is still in the area, and she's spotted them, so she can get some potential kills here. Right here she is. Then let's have a look at the makeup and how they are. So we've got the Cossack Dainty and Offer. There's the Phoebe. There's the Ajax. Right, I, I'm guessing the Phoebe, if memory serves me right, is a Dido class. She is a Dido class, yes, I always remember that. And then we've got the Ajax, which is a count. It's a Leander, Leander class, okay. 9,700 tons, what's the... That's going to be heavier than the Dido, isn't it? Dido's going to be 5,600 tons, yeah, okay, so... Okay, good, good. Um, our primary target would like to be... Well, actually, I think we could probably get a shot away at both cruisers which would be awesome please don't say we have we do have torpedoes good right the Ajax torpedo solution of 339.5 339 well 339 I'll pop one there and I'll pop another one there I'm a little bit worried that they're going to hit the destroyer we'll target the Phoebe solution of 2.9 this, this group is moving at quite a pace. Three, I'll pop one there. And I'll pop one there. Fire. Right, we'll dive next go. And see how these torpedoes get on. We get some damage to these cruisers. Not worried about the destroyers. Oh, they're turning away. Ooh, we might snag the back of this destroyer. Didn't want to do that. We've given our position away. <laughs> and that was for the Leander class cruiser Ajax anyway. Alright. Let's dive. We're safe for the moment until those destroyers come to play. They're moving. Ooh, they might evade. They might evade. Oh, Phoebe is not looking promising for her. Cossack took the hit. Q 
an eye on Phoebe. Phoebe's gone. Whoa! She's gone spectacularly. I think Ajax is going to dodge this. She may get lucky. Happy days. The Phoebe is gone. HMS Phoebe. They are a menacing looking ship, aren't they? The Dido Cruise as well. Yeah. Good. Right. Um... I'll move forward. I don't suppose there's much... No, she's going to dodge that torpedo. I think we'll probably just bug out now. We've come. We've gone our victory. There's no point... Um, potentially risking the crew... With these four destroyers. So we'll uh, we'll just make... Yeah, it spins past. Okay, she survives. Let's dive away. Torpedo reloaded, but that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna leave the battle. We've got our kill. Oh, has that torpedo gone by? It must have always run out of steam, maybe. She wouldn't turn into it. Right, let's uh, dive and get out of here then. They're pinging away, but hopefully that should be enough for us to get away. Maybe next time. Ping! Cossacks put out the fire. So she's very light damage. Right, let's disengage. Well done. Well done. Well done, U-44. Look at that. Sunk the light cruiser Phoebe for 5,600 tons and medium damage to the destroyer Cossack. The light cruiser Ajax and the other three destroyers were able to survive. Brilliant. Meanwhile, U-32 and U-43 have come across uh, the destroyers Gallant and Jackal in the around the Faroe Islands. Now, U-32 has only got one torpedo, so she's not much cop, and I bet you she's going to be the one in the best firing position. You know how this is going to play out. Right, let's have a look. Who have we got? U-32 is... Is she in front of them? Okay. Actually, no. Thankfully, she's not the uh, in the best one. Who have we got here, then? This is U-32. She's got one torpedo, so just move forward. Um, the Gallant, she's 8,000 metres away, so there's no point firing at this range. We've got no aircraft to call in. Now, U-43. Ah, there's the other one. She is in a plumb position to have a pop at this destroyer here. Uh, this is the Jackal. She's 2,694 metres away. Solution of 2.1. Well, what we'll do, I'll lose two torpedoes, because it'd be nice to uh, make sure we try and finish her. They should stop just short. Yep, they have. Gallant turns sharply. Oh, and the jackal's gone. Didn't even know what day it was. Look at that. Gone straight away. Uh, we'll just we'll just wait a moment just to see if the gallant comes into um, a, a neat firing position. If not, we'll leave a be. U thirty two is not going to be able to do much. To be fair, there you go. He's facing the target now. Let's have a look torpedo wise. 5,000 meters, I think we can let her come a little bit closer. It's pretty open fire this time. Yep. Maybe a bit of damage to the rear propulsion and all that kind of jazz. U32, you might as well disengage. <laughs> You're not going to do anything. You're only on your way back to rearm anyway, so. 
Torpedo reloaded. We've got three torpedoes now. How far is she? 5,000 meters. She didn't really close in on us then, did she? Okay. We might need to lose next time. She's getting a little bit close. Any damage? No damage yet. Sometimes even near misses can cause uh, significant damage. Right. So here we have it. 3,000 meters away. Torpedo solution of 10. We should put it there. So what we'll do, we'll lose one there. We'll lose one there. And we'll lose one. In fact, we're going to lose one there. That is going to hold her in case she turns. Torpedoes away. We should get a reload hopefully next time. Oh, she's turned the way I wanted her to turn. Brilliant. Ow, and we're taking a hit. Oh, the torpedo's missed. She moved too much. Okay. That shocked me. Oh, she's badly damaged. Right. Um... This may... Oh, our rudder's damaged as well. Okay. We'll just dive down a bit. Oh, gun sensing blood. She's coming in for a depth charge run. Oh, I can't believe those torpedoes. Oh, rudder's still damaged. Torpedo reloaded, though. So we got a torpedo in the fore and aft. Oh, she's coming for us, though. Amazingly, I'm not quite sure we must have sent out divers, but the rudder's working again. Um, let's go harder port. Uh, she's going to turn this way, so actually let's um, let's go starboard again. And hopefully we can get ourselves a nice rearward shot when she's gone past. Oh, she's now she's countering what I'm trying to do. Okay. <laughs> she moves so much quicker than us, obviously. We're going to go for it. Risk it for a biscuit. Oh, we got two. Oh, they got two torpedo tubes. What? What? what clock? This is a Type Nine. Oh, okay. I thought it was a Type Seven. Nice. Okay. We have two shots from behind. Nice. Torpedo solution of one six five. That seems. Hang on. Two thousand meters. Shouldn't I just be able to fire? Right. We'll pop one there. But I'm actually going to fire one directly because I'm, I'm sure they should be able to reach direct. Yeah, it did. I should have fired them both. I should have trusted my my feeling. Right, maybe she'll stumble into the second one. No, the second one's gone past. Look right there. Should have trusted what I was thinking. Not trusted the. Uh, Calculations. Right, let's dive. We've got torpedoes in the fort, so we might as well try and finish off um, this destroyer now. Now that we've engaged, Ooh, this doesn't look good. I don't know. She's gone. She's, she's gone past the um, the point. Get a bit of flak speed ahead, please. Let me just see. Have I got a rearward torpedo available now? I do. Excellent. She's too close at the moment. Depth charge in the water.
Close. No cigar. Alright, she's moving away. We can pop a tap. Possibly. 1600 meters, okay. It's not a great angle, but. Let's see if we get the port a bit. We can get two torpedoes away at close range. Oh, I've only got one rearward one. I thought when I said torpedo reloaded, it was B. But anyway. Fire. Hopefully that's a depth charging racks out of action. Um... Torpedo reloaded. That's what I thought was going to happen. Fire. This should finish her off. She's take your third torpedo. Don't be a dud. It's a terrible angle, but... There we go. I was going to say, three torpedoes? What have they built this uh, destroyer out of? Old Volvos? Cranky. The gallant is gone. So there we are. U-43 received light damage in that attack. I thought that would be more than that, but obviously they've done some repairs. But we managed to sink the des destroyers Gallant and Jackal for 1,800 and 1,690 tons apiece, which is 3,490 tons in total. Lovely. Meanwhile, U-27 has initiated attack against two destroyers. Uh... Now... U-27 doesn't have any torpedoes, so why has she initiated an, an attack? Has she been reloaded? That is a question. There's one destroyer. There's two destroyers. Right, okay. Do you have any torpedoes? No, you have one torpedo. Honestly, why are you engaging? 334, we might as well have a pop. And then we'll just get out of it. Honestly, with one talk, yeah, that's a, that, that, that is a ambitious captain. That is, ah, she's already dodged it. Oh, she hasn't. Oh, okay, I take that back. The captain knows exactly what he's doing. Let's just get out. This is type seven. I can't see when we're in the animation. Yeah, it's type 7. Okay. Dive away. We've got our kill. We've got no more torpedoes. We may have a rear torpedo, actually. Do we have a rear torpedo? Where's the, uh, the marker there? Nope. <laughs> we don't have anything. That's literally everything gone. Dive away. Hopefully we'll be able to escape this engagement next time. So, there we go. What do I know? U-27 uses her last remaining torpedo to sink the Arcades. Ar Arcade. Arcades. Um, for 1350 tonnage. The Boin has uh, survived. But, um, yeah. Well done, U-27. She needs to go and find that um, rearmament ship right now. Brilliant. It is there somewhere. So she's in that area. So hopefully she can... Uh... Yeah, she's reloaded. 14 torpedoes now. Blimey, that would have been useful. But anyway, we seem to um, get through that okay. Um, let's move the Nice now and the Konigsberg and that group down to the Bear Biscay. See if we can tempt them out. And we need to move U-32... Um, okay, we'll move them into Western, well, into the UK waters at the moment, and we're going to move them into Kiel to uh, rearm and etc. Um, Admiral Graf Spey, we're going to move you down to Dakar. You're going to do your your um, twice weekly trip down to Dakar. 
Happy days, happy days. Everything else seems to be going well. Let me just double check these torpedoes. Or check these subs for torpedoes, should I say. Seven and eight. Okay, they could use a resupply sooner or later. U30, it's got six. Where's the ship down here? It's in the Saragossa Sea. Right, U30, you go for a reload. And then we'll start rotating them so they can get reloads, which should be good. Right, here in the Erminger Sea, U28, has, with light damage, has come across quite a nice juicy convoy of large freighters. To, uh, escorted, I meant to say, by the Basilisk Destroyer. Where is the Basilisk is in front? Okay. Let's move forward then. Let's try and claim some of these ships. We've got a large freighter here. Solution of 319. Loose torpedo there. We'll select this one. That's 340. Better. Um, let's try that again. 340.9. There we go. This one there. We've got this one here. Solution of three. Nice. And. How far away is that one? Oh, we can't quite get. Oh, she doesn't. Oh, it's quite. That's not quite in our arc of fire. Okay, we'll fire three then. Um, we'll use the uh, the fourth torpedo to finish one of these ships off because you're not going to get four uh, kills with one torpedo, I don't think. Ooh, they've all turned, but boom! Good explosion on that one. That torpedo hasn't quite made it. Move forward, right. That one's gone. Nice. Oh, that one's gone. Nice. Got a torpedo heading for that one. Um, that This one's in range. Okay, nice. Uh, solution of 354. Because they're turning to starboard. Fire. We should have a torpedo reloaded maybe next turn or the turn after. That torpedo should strike home there. Oh, yes, it should just about snag him. Another torpedo going in front there. Right, move forward. Uh, no torpedoes. Must be next time you get a reload. Rasselis hadn't even completed her turn. She's lost two ships. Another's been struck. And then, oh, if this doesn't strike this time, it's going to miss. Oh, I think it's going to miss. I think that will miss. Torpedo reloaded. We'll target this one here then. 350.4. Well, we'll pop it there. We've already hit this one at the rear with the torpedo, so we'll try and finish her off with this one. And then we'll try and scram before the basilisk comes around. Oh, they turn the other way. Yep, that missed. How about the torpedo coming for this one? I'll stop there. Right. We'll hold fire. We've got nothing to fire. Yes, that should strike still. Ooh! Strike. That's her second torpedo hit, and that's her done. Uh, maybe let's turn to port. And when we do get a torpedo, if we do get a torpedo, then we can maybe target this one here. Right, if we don't get a reload this time... We've got a reload. Nice. I was going to say, we're going to bug out. We'll target this one. 341. 
1.5, Let me just go drop that down to four, actually, just in case he's turning away. Fire that, and then we will start to uh, descend because the destroyer is uh, homing in now. It's firing probably. Yep. You can tell as she angled to uh, get the guns on us. Might miss even with the movement. Um, let's dive down. I think the turning she's doing is gonna evade that torpedo. Might get lucky. Got lucky. Nice. Brilliant. Yep. She's getting a little bit close now, so let's uh, let's start to get out of here. We've done enough damage. Continue to dive. Torpedo reloaded, but uh, it's okay. And we'll disengage. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Basilisk. You wanted to, your revenge. But um, U-28, she got low damage. But she sunk four large freighters for 7,800 apiece. That's 31,200 tons in that one engagement. Nice. Meanwhile, in the Western Approaches, uh, U-42 has uh, stumbled across the destroyer Duncan escorting two large freighters. Oh, nice. Right, we seem to be in a good position where we just trickle forward. Um, 2,300 meters away. Right, we can just pop a couple of... Oh, we've only got two torpedoes left. Is that all? Fire them at the Duncan. Knock the Duncan out and the other ship should be ours. Woo! Nice, right. Um, serves the boat now, then. And then more torpedoes. Get the old deck gunner route at elevation 8.3. 8.4, bam. Straight to the bridge. Hopefully, that's the radio knocked out. Let's drop that down a little bit. Another one into the radio stack. We need some more explosive shells, it would seem. <laughs> no fluffs given. It's like throwing a tennis ball against a wall. Ah, we got a fire going. Pulling away from me a little bit. Oh, she's gone. Nice. Last one over here. Elevation 9.1. The wind took that slightly. Managed to just scrape a hit. Again. Didn't do anything about the wind. Come on, let's get some more deck gun kills. This is what we like. This is what you pay your license fee for. Even you don't pay a license fee, you know what I mean. Go 
go flank speed, try and um, stay with them a little bit. Pop the gun elevation up a bit as well. There we go, that's a nice hit. Both some big holes in the side. Get some uh, water coming in. Nice. Oh, thank you for turning. That's going to make my profile on firing a lot easier. <laughs> he says that and misses. Oh, you couldn't make this up. So, there she goes. Wonderful. Right, let's disengage. U-42 comes out triumphant, sinking the HMS Duncan for 1375 and two large freighters for 8,700 uh, tons apiece. So 1375 renowned earned, 17,400 tons merchant shipping sunk. Nice. I love that swell of music as it goes. Dun, dun, dun. Right. Um, no, where is she? She was here, wasn't she? U31. Is she the one? It's got... No, it was U32. Okay. U32. You go into Kiel. Go into resupply. Wonderful. Right, good. That's the one job done. Meanwhile, nice now. And crew. Um, go on, why not? Ooh, run the Atlantic, uh, sorry, the uh, the Gibraltar Strait, the Atlantic Strait, what am I talking about? Um, Nisenhow is now in the Mediterranean, that's probably a terrible idea, but hopefully the Italian fleet will come out and support us. They won't, because it's, they're not in the game, but you know what I mean, it's not, it's not terribly um, stupid. Right, U30 has had a resupply, so she can go back up here, in fact. And we'll get U29 to come down here and resupply. Good. Um, how is U28 doing? She's got eight torpedoes. U27. Got 14. Right, the U27, you swap with U28. And U28, you come there, you get reloaded. Good, 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 good. Oh, and here we have it. This is not... Oh, hang, hang on a minute. This is not great. This is not great. Um, I sent the nice now down here to uh, find the Renowned. The Renowned has found the Admiral Graf Spey with light damage and the Nuremberg. Um, the, U the Brits have the advantage. So we need to get out of here, actually. We're at guns. The, the, yeah, the Renowned is probably going to punish us. What's the Renown got? Four, 12, 14 inch guns? And these destroyers are going to be like, you know, death from a thousand cuts. Right. Um, who's making smoke? One of the destroyers is making smoke. That's interesting. Fifteen-inch guns. Oh god, it's worse than I thought. What what have we got here? We got eleven-inch guns. Right. We are. They've crossed the T. We are in a bad situation here. So we're going to go to port. Is the renown there? Um, elevation eighteen point four, eighteen five, just the wind. Wow, 
well long. Right, head port. So it's got six inch guns, isn't it? 5.9 inch. Yikes. Right, okay. 19.4. Um, Got a couple of hits. Right, where are you? Flank speed ahead. You do starboard and you make smoke. Trying to cover my other ships. Oh, hasn't really worked. She's going for the uh, the Admiral. We've been in this situation before, haven't we? Where we had a heavy cruiser and um, that was the Admiral Hipper wasn't it and uh, we, it, the battle seemed to be going well and all of a sudden one salvo boom we were on the back foot right we were long last time quite considerably long weren't we uh, and that was at 18.5 they revised to 14.4 which seems too much so I'm going to go about 60 50, yeah high 15s I reckon 15.7 just for the wind Oh, I was aching for it to go a little bit further. <laughs> I was just like, willing those shells on. Right, we were on the money last time, weren't we? 19.4. We're a little bit closer. Yeah, so we're going to drop that down to... They were in 17. That's not a bad shout. I reckon I'm going to get 18.2. unlucky that was. Right. Cover us in smoke. Cover us in smoke. You don't see us, right? Oh no, you can see us perfectly well. <laughs> but this smoke is somehow probably causing a little bit of disruption and any the more turns we can keep these ships alive, the better chance there is for us. We're homing in from the Admiral Graf Spey's guns onto the uh, renowned guns. Oh. Destroyer's taking a bit of a hit. She's already damaged. I might need to switch the Nuremberg to start hitting these destroyers. Otherwise we're going to lose our defensive shield. Right, 15.7 uh, they said was on the money, but that was in fact just short, wasn't it? We've uh, we've closed in a bit more, have we? Yeah, we've closed in a bit more. Um, so they reckon 17. Okay. I'm going to go 16. F 6. Willing these shells on. Couple of hits. Right. Nuremberg move on. Right. Relocate. Target the Ilex here. Or Ilex. 14.1. Switch to high explosives. Continue to make smoke. First time we're actually covered by the smoke, she lands her shots. From her angle, anyway. I 
I've got a very foreboding feeling about this. was damaged, right? Target, where is she? We're now, and she's turning towards us. Um, 16.9. Last time we fired at 16.6. I don't believe that. I'm going to go... I'm going to go 15.5. given at all is there really um, smoke is blocking our way apparently but I'm going to drop the gun down a couple of lips oh smoke was getting in our eyes She can't, you can't see the capital ships from there. Yes, she could be radioed from another. She's less accurate when there isn't smoke. So far, so good. Probably just jinxed it now. Oh, bit of reversing action there. But Janice is getting in the action and... Opening salvo, she strikes the mark. Incredible. Right, 15.5 was long apparently. Okay, so they reckon 16. We were long, we're closing. Okay, I'm going to drop it down to 15.3. Uh, Fifteen one. Oh. It's a good hit. I doubt much is damaged with it, but still a good hit. Right, maybe we need to switch our attention to this um, destroyer here. No, we can't actually work on that one. Um, let's drop the guns down to say 13 and then... Oh, we're long again. Continue to make smoke. You're doing a great job. You're doing a great job. Don't let them tell any differently. I do worry. I do worry. This is so de so delicately balanced when it's still in the Royal Navy's favour here. The Renown can wipe any of our ships out in one good salvo. So it's really quite nerve jangling at this point. Gonna, gonna re. Oh, change course, sorry. Um, we were pretty much on the money, weren't we? We need to drop that down. Where was that? 15.1. Let's drop that down to, say, 14.4. Just for the wind. 
Oh, too much. Too much, too much. Oh, we've got to be careful that we're coming to the end of the smoke here. Um, we need to drop the guns down. 13. Let's drop them to 11, 8. Oh, we're still on for heavens above. Oh. The um, light cruiser is starting to stick her nose out. Look at the, look at the fountains of water, for heaven's sake. They're moving into drop torpedoes, aren't they? You can see the way they're positioning. Right, she's actually smoking, which is nice to see. Uh, drop the guns down a bit more. 39. What? The wind? Has the wind picked up or something? All of a sudden... Right, we can see this one now. Uh, nine point two. Okay, nine four. Cause I don't trust it fully. Oh, I shouldn't have trusted it. Oh bloody hell! Pumps are gone. Oh, she's gone. No! You cheating, cheating game. That's it, we've lost the ships now. Slow realisation, these two ships are not going to get out of this battle. Unless by some miracle we can sink the Renown. Maybe the uh, light cruiser's got enough torpedo to um, get some shots against the Renown. I think we're too far out. Too far out, are we? Um... 12.1 That seems too much Right, we'll, we'll go full Banzai with the wind then oh, Still, wind still pushed it incredibly 8.9, we're probably on, on the money Where were we last time? We were probably need to drop it down a bit 8.9, sounds about right The wind didn't take them. I guess they were they were low trajectory, I though I suppose. Oh god. Boom! There we go. This is pretty much the end of the uh, heavy cruiser now. What's the damage? Steering, torpedoes. Okay. The guns are still working, so that's a small mercy. And the fires looks like it's me putting out. Our aim is. range is, doesn't seem too bad. 13 4, let's. No 
both laps given. Right, 7.5 they reckon. Okay. We go 7.6. The wind wasn't bad last time. Oh, but we're sure every time. Can't trust the gun directors at all. They're useless. Oh, there's our rear turret. We're dead. We are dead. So what we might just... I might just have to launch some long-range torpedoes. And hope to God somebody runs into it. Oh god, still more. Oh, so <laughs> they actually missed a shot. Can you believe it? That must have been the random number roll in our favour. Right there. Oh, our, our rudder's still broke. Um, yeah, it's totally knocked out. Is it dead dead? It's dead dead. Um, renowned, 12.6. Oh, that wind is ridiculous. Right, how far is the renowned? 11. Is that out of range of our torpedoes? Hmm, no, actually. Um... Solution at 82.9. There we go. Oh, 81.9. Hang on. There we go. We're just doing a spread because she be able to turn and dodge. one there so she can't just get out of dodge right need to survive long enough for these torpedoes to uh, cause some trouble never know we might get a uh, destroyer or two as well Oh, did she fire to her torpedo launches twitched? I don't know if she actually fired torpedoes. Didn't miss that time. <laughs> right, did that did she launch torpedoes? Can't see. Still can't move because of the uh, the gun. Uh, the um, sorry, the, the rudders broke. But um, eleven point one. Ha! <laughs> still don't get any luck. Right, I think this this destroyer here is just trying to get in the way and cause some grief. Although this one might be setting up to target the um, the hipper, uh, the grass bay. So six point six. I don't trust it for my life, as you know. But She's dodged the torpedoes. That was our last gamble. It's not paid off. Ah, 
How many times have we said it? If we take a capital ship for the Royal Navy, we, the game... I'm not sure if it engineers it, but it... It always makes sure that we lose comparable capital ships as well. I guess it's a way of... I don't, is, I don't know. Is it just pure chance? Or, you know, I suppose we could do what the um, German regime did and keep them all in, in port. Um, or in a fjord somewhere, but... Well, they weren't for you, but anyway. Actually, not sunk. What? Now she's... Okay. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. Right. Um, the range was good. Let's drop that down a couple of notches. Better start firing at the renown as well. It's not much else we can do. Maybe get a lucky shot. We might as well fire with high explosives with the uh, the caliber we've got. Try and get a fire going if nothing else. Oh, that's got her attention if nothing else. Torpedoes are going to got all wide. Oh, we got rudder back. We've got rudder. We can do a slight change of. Um, so, uh, drop the guns down again. Probably about 10.4. Can't see because of the smoke. Torpedoes reloaded. Oh. Okay. Non-actual effective though. Right. Um, target the. Continue to target uh, the renown. Oh my God! Would you? <laughs> would you target the renown, please? Game. Uh, eight point. What did we fire last time? So we were long, yeah. Okay. 10.7 down to 8.5. That seems quite a lot. Let's go 9, 9, 2. Oh, God. This light cruiser ain't going to last any time at all against the, the battle cruiser. All these high explosive shells coming in for these destroyers is probably going to put pay to her as well. Oh, go on, go on. Oh! Okay, we're just having random... No! 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 There was no reason for that! Right. 
Random explosions. There was no critical damage on that ship apart from the guns and the, and the rudder. Must have been a fire going through the deck, you say? Absolute tosh. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, oh, that's annoyed me. The, no the random number rolls in this battle have not been in our favour, and they've when they don't, you know, when they when they feel that they're not in your favour, it does put a sour taste in your mouth. But you know, that's on the proviso that they always level up the score. It's like a bad football referee; they always level up the decisions. Any torpedoes left? No. Well, we wouldn't. The torpedoes wouldn't actually make it to there before we'd, we'd been killed anyway, so... Um, it's probably slightly point, uh, re irrelevant anyway. Well, at least she's going to be in port for a while. Ow, that's probably her done. With the destroyers now finishing her off. Okay, torpedoes in the water. It's going to be several goes before they get to us. We'll be dead by then, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Behind, oh no, <laughs> it ain't gonna hit anything. Torpedoes reloaded, not for our side though, right? Um, the last shell was pretty good. Let's drop that down again to 7.9. Fire's our only friend here now. Oh, we knocked out our oven front turret. Well, that's maybe give us... Uh, we can't dodge these torpedoes, though. Just going to ring a rear turret to bear. Right, um, harder port. Trying to evade these torpedoes, although I can't see it actually, uh, us being able to do that. She's fireproof, that one. And never, you can never start a fire on that battle cruiser, bizarrely. She can get that rear turret in the fight. Oh no, she's making smoke! And these destroyers will probably finish us off. With um, the odd sh hit sh from the shells and the uh, torpedoes. Yeah, I can't. We can't we're not dodge those torpedoes. So, all we can try and do, if we can survive, is get some more shots away at the uh, Renown and try and sink her in, in our last death throes. 
get the chance. Don't think we're going to get the chance, to be fair. Oh, we got her on fire, though, but she's going to survive us being... Ooh, maybe. God, they're destroyers. Don't miss, do they? Job there, um, merchant ships don't have uh, guns on because they'd probably be able to hit us as well. Oh, we might just be able to dodge that. She's not getting out of here. That's the sad thing. She's what she's fought so hard. But these these shells will finish us off eventually. Oh, you can't see us through that smoke. Oh, for the love of God! <laughs> Ridiculous. We've got the front gun right. Um, okay, let's tweak the guns up to about seven point seven. Have some fire. I tell you what, the Royal Navy seems to be able to fire through the smoke more accurately when not firing through smoke. Now, our smoke, is it because it's their smoke and that's why it's not imp impending their aim? Although, it, it, we still have the problem. If that's the case, that's a mechanic which is not fair to non-AI. That was near miss. Got torpedoes coming in from behind now. Nice. Oh, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, but yeah, we got torpedoes coming in from this direction, which I 
don't think we're going to dodge two lots of torpedoes. They obviously do it in that kind of cross pattern. Yeah, that's, yeah. Oh, that's it. Is that us gone? <laughs> I love how they say, oh, we still got these merchant freighters. Yeah, no one cares about them. Right, torpedoes coming in from that direction. We've dodged those ones, so... Uh, I suppose we just keep turning... Is that our best bet? Or turning away, probably. Oh, we're dead in the water, pretty much. Um, what we need to try and do is knock out that rear gun. Uh, we, just, we just don't have the firepower to, um, to take it on, though. Here they come the torpedoes there. Oh, just short. Ah, oh, there she goes. Nuremberg made a brave stand. But ultimately, it was too far. It was uh, a bridge too far, as they say. And she is gone down. Well done, Nuremberg. That was one hell of a, def a last stand, though. One hell of a defiant last stand. I salute you. Right. <laughs> it's not all lost. Um, the heavy cruiser Admiral Graf Spee was sunk for 12,000 tons. The Nuremberg sunk for 8,900 tons. The destroyer, remember her? For uh, 2,260 tons. However, Renown did succumb to the damage that we caused. HMS Renown, the battle cruiser, has been sunk for 37,500. Excuse me, 37,500 5, 37, tons. My goodness me. It was sticking in my throat. The HMS uh, Ilex was also destroyed 1370 and Gypsy got light damage. So, we came off actually, pound for pound, better off on that one. But um, we still have lost a big capital ship. Um, so, we need to see what we've got. We got three spots now. Um, we're running out of big capital ships, actually. These aren't available till August. We do have just about enough for the Bismarck. Hi everyone. Right. Um, I actually the recording stopped because I ran out of hard disk space. Um, lo and behold, we lost the. Uh, I don't know where where it cut off. This is the annoying thing. In that battle, we lost the um, Admiral Graf Spee. We lost the Nuremberg, who put up a valiant last stand. However, HMS Renowned, the battlecruiser, was also sunk. She succumbed to her losses. We didn't see her sink, but the um, once the uh, the battle was over, her, the damage to her was too great, and they couldn't stop the flood, and she sunk. Uh, also, the destroyer Ilex was also um, sunk during that battle, and another destroyer, I think it was Gypsy, was uh, lightly damaged. What I've done is um, we've purchased Prince Eugen heavy cruiser, Karl Shrew light cruiser, and a destroyer Z-18, Hans Ludman, um, to replace those ships to get us back up to 20 in the fleet. Um, and again, these guys will come down here and patrol around Dakar. Um, we've got the Nice now in the med. Um, hopefully, I, hopefully the, I, I, I pray to God the actual engagement was seen and, um, you know, it didn't cut off halfway through that. I didn't... Oh, so annoying. Uh, anyway, I do apologise about the um, the drop there. Sometimes recordings do cut out. Blooming annoying, though. Um, anyway, we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, I also did say we were right back up to six um, red bars at the top before I noticed <laughs> it wasn't recording. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's a tough day, but we are we are just about winning the battle. You know, we're, lo we're losing a lot of um, capital ship tonnage, but the Royal Navy is losing more. If I've repeated myself, I do apologise. I don't know where it cut off, you see. Uh, <laughs> so, if I have repeated myself again, I'm sorry. Um, thanks so much for watching. Take care. We'll pick this up next time. As always, comment, like, subscribe. It does help the channel and the series grow so much. I know all YouTubers have to say it, but it's annoying as heck. But it does help uh, with the YouTube algorithm. So, thank you so much. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.